So hi everyone, welcome to the episode of The Root Culture. So in today's episode, we're going to do our part 3 series of our plant maintenance. In our plant maintenance, we're going to look at staghorn friends and we're going to see which are the areas that pests like to reside on. So we start off this Neptune, so there are 4 parts of the plant we're going to check. The fertile fronds, the shield fronds, and media if you have any. We want to do a quick sweep, and also the growth point. So we talk about the fertile fronds first. We want to look at the fertile front, the front and the back. For the front side, there could be millibug scales. There also could be spider mites. For the other side, there could be scales, millibugs, trips, white flies, and also caterpillars. So these are the ones that come and affect the fertile fronds. And to identify them, for example, the millibugs and the scales, we want to take a closer inspection because when a plant has a heavy amount of trichomes, sometimes they do tend to camouflage within. So one example to check whether there could be a millibug or scale infestation is usually using ants as the reference. Suddenly you notice that there could be an uh, influx of ants on the leaf itself. Ants like to farm skills and millibugs uh, due to the nectar that they produce. And so that's one of the ways that we could identify whether there could be any skills or millibugs. So for white flies and strips, these are little speckle of dots. So for the trips, they're usually green in colour, while the white flies are white in colour. So you really want to identify them uh, fast because these are virus vector carriers. And so that means that they do pierce the skin of the leaf. They may inject a virus into the plant itself. And so that also applies for these spider mites. And so for spider mites, on the underside, there could be red speckles all over the plant. And so that's one way to identify. Uh, for heavy infestation, there could be webbings all around. And you want to be extra careful when you check for webbings because they could be spiders and spiders are actually beneficial for the plant. They help to get rid of the pests themselves. After spider mites, there could be caterpillars on the plant itself. And how you identify is by checking for droppings of the caterpillars which are little round balls that could be around the plant itself. So if you notice caterpillars, what you could do is that you remove them, but don't kill them. So you could go to your local groups and pass it on to someone who would want to take care of it because they could be your native pollinators and you don't want to kill something that could help pollinate other plants in that matter. And so after we're done checking the fertile fronts, we want to move on to the shoot fronts. So let's use another plant for example. So moving on to the shoot fronts, we want to use this video as an example. So for the shoot fronts, pests that could affect them would be the millibugs and scales. And then also we move on to one that causes uh, physical damage. For example, like the cockroaches, slugs and snails. They do form little holes in the plant. And how you could get rid of them would be to soak them. So for slugs and snails, you'll notice a slime trail and that would be a way to identify. And let's move on into the growth point. The growth point is the lifeline of the staghorn fern. If the growth point is damaged in any way, the plant health starts to deteriorate. So pests that do attack the growth points are rats, borrowers like earwigs, beetles, and some microbes, they do eat a little bit of the growth point. Moving on to the media, this could be a quick visual strip of the media. As this fern in nature, they do harbour insects one way or another. We can help to do our part to reduce these pests by doing frequent inspection, getting familiar with these pests, how they look like, and also to identify them in a timely manner. Do let us know in the comment section below how often you do your inspection and what are the common pests that you face.